when I tell people that my drive to work is now an hour and 15 minutes, they say, is it worth it? Well, I just got home from work, and let me tell you, look at this view from my bedroom window. Yes, it's worth it. The umbrella. Ooh, this bed is crazy. You told my You bet it's crazy. I wonder how much water there is. All right, so I came out here yesterday, and there is a path going out to the 1200 square foot outbuilding way in the back of the eight acres a, just a tiny like just slightly beaten down path where somebody had been driving a truck out here or something maybe the previous owner so I did not have to scythe all the way out to the field I was able to instead ride the zero turn very slowly through here since it was not as thick as the rest of the grass around it because it had been driven on so today, kids are getting out here for the first time, and for the first time we're gonna show you, I still cannot get into the building, because I am gonna have to scythe up to the building, because I'm only, about, I'm about 10 feet away at this point. But today we are walking out, all the way out to the back of the eight, to show you guys the outbuilding and this weird structure that I'm not quite sure what it is. It kinda looks like an old, maybe like a horse barn, or an old house that, Partially burned down, I'm not sure, but we'll all look at it together with you here. Maybe one of you guys have an idea what it might be. So here we are walking through the field. You've got this nice path through this really tall grass. And I don't know, I mean, this is the back uh, six acres or so. I don't know that I'm actually going to do any more mowing than maybe a path straight out here and maybe at the very back I might loop around and come all the way down on the other side. If you see that tree right yeah. here, all the way over there, that's the other side of the property. Yeah, that's the other side of the property. Butterfly! That's the other side! So I am thinking that I might make just a, a loop. I don't know how far that would be. If it's a mile or half mile, quarter mile. Well, probably not a quarter mile. Way too big for that. Maybe a mile around. But anything, we can make a walking track around this whole yard until we get animals and use this building as a barn. And then this can be food for the animals and they can mow it down. But I don't plan on just maintaining it, mowing down eight acres for no reason. Especially not when wildlife love it out here. We came out yesterday, right after I mowed. Actually, I was still in the middle of mowing and two deer had already found their way to the mowed area and were hanging out. And uh, by the time I went back and got my wife, she came out here, there were four deer out here hanging out, so. We do not want to mow all this and cause the wildlife to stop hanging out. But here's this weird building. Not sure what this used to be. It's got a roof on it. Zoom in here. It's got a roof on it shingles on the roof but no walls it appears maybe side walls on the left on the right maybe and i can't even tell what's inside that building that might also be telling to what it used to be once i can actually get over there close enough to see what kind of things are sticking up there but i'm not walking through all of that to get over there to find out i will scythe a path from here Straight A, point A to point B, straight line. Get over there and see what is going on. We've had a lot of rain lately. Thankfully, this is nothing compared to what some people around us have faced. They have massive floods. I feel very bad for them. They have crops that look like they've always been ponds. It's terrible. We've had rain and rain and rain for days on, days in a row now. So out here, here's an old fire pit. We'll get back out here. Fire pit a guy used to have. Still got loaded with wood. Here is the small shed I have never been into yet. I haven't even gotten over that far. And here's the outbuilding. Yeah, there's something rustling in the grass. 
1200 square foot outbuilding where we are planning on scything the rest of the way in it came over here we're about 10 feet or so from the door which is right here there's the big door but on the right there there's the small door i'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to get in there to the next day or so hopefully tomorrow night because i'm gonna have to get the locks off we got a locksmith coming on monday we're gonna change the locks so all of our doors front back garage and outbuilding will all have the same key So, again, there it is, yeah. the large outbuilding we're going to convert into a barn and keep our dairy cow in there, which I forgot to actually verbally mention on the plans video, but we do want to get a dairy cow and the horse, and that'll be their barn to stay in, and this will be their land to graze all out here. I forgot about the duckies. They need somewhere to stay. They're not staying out here in this barn. They're getting the house built. Well, they need somewhere to stay. So, from standing here out at this outbuilding, looking back towards the house, you can no longer see our house. Our home. Yeah. It was right. Far, far away. Far, far away in a galaxy. Somewhere. Yeah, you hear a quick Happy birthday to you.